Today, world's political situation is developing rapidly. After a year of Ukrainian Maidan, which has tied all the world's attention to Ukraine, and a little less since the punitive operation in Donbas has started. Overall, the pathos being radiated from Maidan activists. The irony is, the world has just started to distinguish Ukraine as a separate from Russia and independent country. Like a suicide teenager, Ukraine, owning the really great resource and human potential, has only managed to stick attention by starting burning tires and killing the people. This should be kind of PR, unfortunately it is even too black. Would it be offensive to say that the country is ruled by some retards? Looking over the situation in Ukraine, the superpowers try to direct it according to their own needs and scenarios. The US have started expressing their anxiety about the police violence against peaceful protesters at Maidan, implemented by the Ukraine's government of Yanukovych, and they held this position until Yanukovych ran away from the Sever street fighters. Interesting that as soon as America faced their own protests in Ferguson, no one was kind to the revolted African Americans, even despite of Obama's relativity. Over 40 people were arrested just overnight, and this time Russia has become anxious about the innocent citizens subjected to the police violence, which has become the reason for the riot itself. Back to Ukraine. There's no fascism here, they say. Putin is like Hitler, they say. But Ukrainian shells continue to hit schools and hospitals in Donbas. The pensions and other payments frozen for Russian speakers at the lands formerly ruled by Kiev and now self-governed, while Putin helps people of Donbas, protects Crimea, and brings the pathetic West to their levels. No war, says America, but the weapons and engineering secretly arrives to Ukraine. For the better assurance of no war, we guess. Like the boy from the famous tale, Ukraine government cries, Help! Russia invaded! Russia invaded! Over 30 times already they claimed the aggressive superpower to cross borders, to hit the passenger aircraft, to send troops and guns to Donbas. But the evidence is never given. And no help is obvious. People in Ukraine as as abandoned by the government as they used to be. Stability achieved by human sacrifice. Anyway, the experience tells Ukraine could lose the war even being supplied by the newest super-secret ammunitions from the future. Because no one cared of the army since 1991, and no soldier, officer or even ministry of defense has a clue on how does the machine gun works. The conflict cannot possibly be solved in the Ukraine's favor, and the sooner they come to these conclusions, the more people will be saved. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.